So I have found, in explaining the story, that a visual aid of some kind helped. Here is two sets of identical twins, right? And what happens is an accidental, an innocent mistake happens at the hospital, and this is what happens. So you end up with two sets of identical twins that are now being raised by their mothers uh, as fraternal twins. Carlos here went home with Jorge, and in turn that meant their twins, William and Wilbur, then grew up together. These twins spent 25 years growing up separately, only to be reunited through a series of extraordinary twists of fate. William moved to Bogota, the same city where his lost twin Jorge lived, and worked as a butcher. One random day, a co-worker of Jorge paid a visit to the same butcher. When she entered the store, she couldn't believe the astonishing resemblance between her co-worker Jorge and the butcher. She sees who she thinks is the guy she knows from, from like her office. He's the guy, he's Jorge from piping. She goes to, to the counter, she says, Jorge, what are you doing working in a butcher shop? And he says, I'm, I'm not Jorge, who, what are you talking about? I'm William. Shocked by the uncanny physical similarities, Jorge's colleague snapped a photo of the butcher and shared it with Jorge. Upon seeing the photo and noticing their striking resemblance, Jorge reached out to his doppelganger butcher, leading to a face-to-face -face meeting. The night that they all, that they figure it out, they quickly came together in a park in, uh, in Bogota. Things took an even more bizarre turn at the meeting. Realized that the individuals they had long believed to be the respective fraternal twins, Carlos Bernal Castro and Wilbur Canas Velasco, also looked identical. No, no, no puede ser No, man. Yo analizo lo que pasó y digo, no sé si es mejor So at the age of 25, they finally discovered that they were not biologically related. Instead, they had been raised as fraternal twins due to a mix-up that occurred in the hospital nursery. This hospital mix-up, which occurred in 1988, remained concealed until their meeting in 2014. It is believed that both sets of twins were initially placed in the same room, and one or more of the identifying wristbands they wore fell off, leading to the mix-up. Jorge and Carlos, who were not at all related, were raised in bustling Bogota. Believing they were twin brothers, they were raised in a loving and nurturing environment. Carlos was pursuing a career in accounting while Jorge juggled his time between working at an engineering firm and attending evening classes at the university. Carlos, you, you asked about, he has to wonder, would I have accomplished what I've accomplished? Mm. He's an accountant. Would I have accomplished what I, would I be a professional had I not had... Meanwhile, William and Wilbur grew up in the remote rural village of La Paz, a distance of 150 miles away. In stark contrast, they lived in poverty. Their humble home was constructed from wooden planks, lacking basic comforts such as electricity and running water. School came to an end for them at the tender age of 12. They also mistakenly believed that they were twins. To me, the heart of the story are the two brothers who were raised kind of not where they were supposed to be raised, the two guys who missed out on what was supposed to be... Who were not raised by their true parents. And who were raised in these radically different environments. Mm -hmm. Now with their lives forever changed by this revelation, they are planning to travel together and are even considering purchasing a shared home where all four can live together.